Hi there, welcome to Excelsior Tech. Today, I'm going to show you a piece of software that's going to be the basis for your IT toolbox. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so first up, we're gonna make our drive for the basis of our IT toolbox. And so our IT toolbox is going to be a USB that you can carry around with you and have all the tools that you want for doing most of your IT needs. And if you've been doing IT for a while, you already probably have a bunch of like bootable CDs or USB drives and things like that, you know, pieces of software that you, you load and run all the time. And so you might have something kind of like this already cobbled together where there's some sort of USB or something that has a bunch of your softwares and things on it. But, um, I'll show you what I do, and I start out with a very cool uh, new tool called Ventoy. Uh, Ventoy is really simple. What it does is creates a small EFI per bootable partition that boots you into a menu, and then any ISOs or um, uh, different kinds kinds of e uh, image files will then allow you to. It'll be a bootloader for those files. So let me show you what I mean. A long time ago, I actually used to use this thing called um, Yumi, uh, which stands for Your Universal Multi-Boot multi Installer. So I, you know, a long time ago, I had a bunch of different uh, ISOs that I would use for booting things. Maybe it was like Clonezilla or something like that, do some cloning. And I used Yumi. Yumi was actually a really cool tool for this kind of um, work, but one of the problems is is that it didn't really uh, adjust really well when legacy uh, master bootloader type situations then turned to EFI. The new EFI version of Yumi was okay, um, but I had more problems with it than I used to with the old just regular master bootloader version. So later I found Ventoy, and uh, Ventoy is amazing. It It seems to work really well with everything I throw at it. And it's really simple, super simple, not hard to use at all. Yumi, you had to launch the, the, the software and then you had to like, each time you wanted to load an ISO, you had to kind of launch the software to have it load the, the, the ISO. Well, this isn't necessary for Ventoy. Let me show you what Ventoy does. Really good documentation on the site. Uh, suggest going there, ventoy.net, if you want to get into deep into it. But we're just going to do the basis. So what we're going to do is you... Go to downloads, you get the Windows version, take you to GitHub. You can use any kind of uh, drive. It just needs to be the size that you're going to want to drop a bunch of ISOs onto. So you need to be ready for that. So I've unzipped the file. Now you have this Ventoy to disk. Run this going to show you the plugged in disks. I have this 512 disk right here. Um, you don't have to use a 512 disk, but for my IT toolbox, and I suggest for you too, you might want to pick a larger hard drive. I'll tell you why. Uh, in my future IT toolboxes, I'm going to be using this same Ventoy disk as a bootable cloning disk that allows you to boot it and then clone other drives and store them to here if you need to do a backup of a drive that's emergency or something like that. So I'm picking a large drive so I can do that for at least a little bit of space to be able to put those um, backups. But you don't have to. You can you can do you know a 16 gig drive or or an 8 gig drive as long as you know that I'm only going to be using a certain number of ISOs on here and that I won't fill up those spaces, that's fine. But one Windows ISO is going to be kind of large, and so I would suggest at least doing something like a 16 gig. But anyways, you can see I already had Ventoy installed, so it's actually going to update me to a new version with this one. Let's go ahead and do install, which will wipe it. So it's going to warn you, everything on this disk is going to be lost. It's going to clean it and then... Put a little EFI partition on there. Yeah, let's double check saying, are you really sure? Yep. So I erased that disk. That disk has now been flushed. Okay, now that can take a few minutes. I actually sped it up here because for some reason it took like, like four or five minutes for me. That's not normal. Normally it goes within just a minute or so. 
And now, what does it look like? Well, here's what it looks like. Now in your this PC, you're going to see this big, huge, empty drive here. You might actually see another smaller EFI partition. Um, leave that alone. If you see that, um, don't do anything with it. What you will see is this bigger one uh, that just says Ventoy, and both of them will say Ventoy. The EFI one will have, I think it'll just be in all caps, Ventoy, because I think it's a FAT32 partition. So in all caps, say Ventoy, and then the one that looks like this, but that's much larger, that's the one you want to mess with. So open it up, it's just blank. And this is the beauty of Ventoy. All you gotta do is just drop ISOs on it. And let me show you how that works. So just find the ISO or image file that you want to use to boot off of, something you may have made a USB stick out of in the past. So for instance, I got this uh, Windows ISO right here. I'm just gonna drop it on there. And that's it. If you boot off of this uh, Ventoy USB now, you will see a menu that's something like this, except it'll have the things that you dropped on there. And you just pick the one you want, it'll load it into RAM and boot it. Really cool for all your bootable tools. If you wanna see more of the IT Toolbox videos, please subscribe, take a look at my other videos, and thanks for watching.